I'm really struggling to wrap my mind around the thoughts that a Jon Snow sequel could be in the works. And I'm here to tell you that as much as I love the Jon Snow character, and as much as I despise the conclusion of his character in Game of Thrones Season 8, I do not want this story to be true. For me and others, this would be salt in an old wound that has only just begun to heal. The Hollywood Reporter released an article stating, and I quote, Kit Harrington is attached to reprise his fan-favorite role in the first potential Thrones project to take place after the events in the original series. The article continues, the network has entered into early development on its first sequel to its blockbuster fantasy drama, a live-action spin-off series centered on the fan-favorite j- character Jon Snow, the Hollywood Reporter has learned. The rest of the article shares no further insights, but for me, Once the shock and confusion wore off, I started to organize my thoughts. I admit, I was guilty of getting slightly excited that one of my favorite characters would be back on the screen, as George R. R. Martin over three years later has yet to publish Winds of Winter, and my inability to accept Season 8 of Game of Thrones as the true conclusion to A Song of Ice and Fire. Then reality hits. This would be furthering a story that's narratively unstable at best. All of the flaws that so many have pointed out would be expanded on. Even with the best writers, I still think that you'd be looking at a similar scenario to that of the Star Wars sequel trilogy, where even though there were some bright moments, overall it didn't work for a lot of audiences. Because this concept would have to be built on a very shaky foundation, this wouldn't be in an expansion of a world created by George R. R. Martin, but rather expanding on the world that D&D left behind, and I believe that world is fractured. The Red Priests, Grey Worm, the Dothraki, they've all been suggested by other YouTubers as potential conflicts or even the resurrection of the White Walkers as a potential threat. Perhaps Drogon returns or Jon has to go find him or fight another battle. But for any of these possibilities, I think it'd be difficult to do any of them without significant retconning of the characters' motives and decisions in the Game of Thrones finale. The one concept that I'd be kind of interested in is a potential conflict between Bran and Jon. The way that might work is if Jon's true identity as a Targaryen became more widely known among Westeros and there was some form of revolt against Bran. Again though, I think you'd have to retcon Jon's motives and really much of his character in Season 8. No matter which idea you look at, I think it's pretty flimsy material because again, it'd be built on a broken foundation left behind from Season 8. Let me know what you guys think. This wasn't my next planned video at all, but I felt that I had to share my initial thoughts. I had to get this off my chest. I think this is a bad idea, and hopefully it's just a rumor. But if you put Kit Harrington on some marketing material with HBO, Game of Thrones, etc., it unfortunately would draw a lot of interest, and that's the business part of entertainment. Look at Disney, for example. People are drawn to what they're familiar with, and HBO is dedicated to going back to the Game of Thrones wishing well until it dries up and we technically have only just begun in the Game of Thrones expanded universe. Now to all of those that have been following my channel, expect the first video in the Game of Thrones Jamie Lannister series to be released within the next couple of days. This was kind of breaking news and I just wanted to cover it. Thank you guys so much for watching.